I need to be talking more. <laughs> we're not we're not talking enough here. Oh my word. Okay, so that uh, that furnace filled completely up with copper plates. Right. Okay, so we've got the uh, we've got the power system running now. Um, which means that we need to start looking into just ditching the, uh, the burning, the burner system. Yeah, because that is going to eat so. into our coal. If we can get rid of those, then we can link our coal just straight up to the boiler. Of course, later down the road, we'll yeah. be getting rid of the boilers as well, but it's a start. Will we, though? I mean... I mean, they are a pretty reliable and decently high-powered source, but there's better. What's, what's better than the boilers? Well, we can burn... well... <laughs> One thing I like to use is solar panels, but that's more because I like having something I can plonk down anywhere without having to lay a half mile of cable. But mm. well, yeah, I'll I'll give you that one. I'll give you that one. But I don't think that there's anything else that generates power beyond the steam engine and the solar panels. It is a surprisingly I'm short list considering how much pollution we generate. Well, I mean, if you think about it, we uh, we actually. Like, I remember whenever I had to explain this to my sister, it was like, no, like, you do know that a nuclear power plant actually runs off of steam, right? Like, that's how we make the, the power from it. Well, strictly speaking, the power, like, the nuclear part of that is running off of the nuclear. The, the, tur the actual thing that is generating electricity is the turbines that the steam it's generating push. But, but, but that's just it. All of, all of our power, all of our power in this world seems to come from steam. It's just a matter of how you make the heat. Yeah, it's a you know. it's a remarkable like thing to realize. We haven't actually changed all that much since the industrial yeah, we, it's revolution. Like, no, we don't use. No, this is the 1930s. We don't use steam engines no more. And it's just, uh, Joe, how you doing? <laughs> no, actually, we still run off of steam almost entirely. It's it's just we have more sophisticated way of generating steam. Yep. Well, more sophisticated ways of boiling water. That is essentially what a lot of industry is. The first the first way that we used solar and that we used solar panels was just we had a bunch of mirrors pointed at a water tank. Yep, yep. I mean, like what what are they Ah, jeez. Don't they uh don't they make liquid salt essentially in uh in in some of those uh, solar plants these days? Huh? Like with the, with the field around a tower? Yeah. I seem to recall reading something. Yeah. I'm, I'm not I'm not an electrical engineer, but Oh same. <laughs> Give me the coal. I'm gonna go ahead and load up the uh the the, the tanks. Um God. Now this we're is gonna, gonna be the gonna real have, problem. We're gonna have to have coal coming to the furnaces to smelt stuff. Yeah, it is. Which is why I think it might not be a half bad idea to just like uh To move the smelting area. To, to to the north, basically, to the north of this uh, this this iron field, we just set up a smelting staging area because it's going to be a nightmare. We get, we basically have to set up infrastructure before we actually get electric furnaces if we want to switch to them, for that matter. Because it's not entirely wrong to switch from to not switch to an electric furnace. I've heard all sorts of stories of people who are like, no, I just stick with the steel furnaces or iron furnace or whatever. Yeah, if you can justify the coal input, steel is pretty good. The, tr the, tr the trouble is getting them all there. Pe people might not actually understand the way that this works, so, um... <laughs> because... We didn't really do a whole lot of introduction, so the no, idea is pretty simple. We're, we're, we're on this planet, and we gotta get off by launching a rocket. The problem is that we have to uh, gather enough resources to launch the rocket, which means automating a huge system, and then researching it. So, if I hit T... Like, it's gonna be a real mess because of how small the window is here for everyone. Because, like, I'm only running in 720. But, uh, well, you see on the left they here, They can switch this to is... my view, at least. Mine's a 1080. Well, you're at 1080? Why are you running it? How'd you get it to run at 1080? My window, like, I couldn't resize the window. Full screen. Full screen. Oh, well, that works too. <laughs> that's, that's how I keep losing nights to this thing, is it covers up my system clock, and I don't realize how long I've been playing. Uh all right, fine. Uh, you win on that one. You win that round. Actually, running full screen messes up my other monitors, so like, the, I have a reason not to do that. <laughs> but anyway, <clears throat> like I was saying, on the left, this is all of the tech that you can research, okay? And uh, researching technology, if I just click on these, you see up on the left pane, you get, um, you get these science packs that you have to feed into research centers. 
and you have to power the research centers. So you have to manufacture these science packs, which gets ever more complicated, and then you have to feed those research packs into um, research facilities or science centers or whatever they're called. They're little domes. They look like Epcot. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> um, so, yeah, you, you make the research packs and then you feed them into the science center and uh, you perform the research and then you learn how to make new stuff. So, um, we've, we've got to do that and there's a lot of stuff. There's a lot of stuff to research. Not all of it necessary, but a lot of it. So, oh my god, it got dark out while I was explaining all of that. Well, um, okay, read pages 57 through 63 tonight, kids, and, um, I'll see you tomorrow morning. The bell does not dismiss you, I dismiss you. <laughs> oh god, how many times have you gotten that in your life? Ugh, too many. <laughs> oh my god, I, I remember, um, I got in big trouble with a teacher for, uh, congregating around the, uh, exit door. For, uh, for class because she she just she didn't want anyone just standing around the door Making the place look like I, I, don't, I don't even know why she had a problem with it but she didn't want anyone standing around the door so yeah I got in I got in massive trouble because I was like but I'm not doing anything wrong and she, oh she didn't like it when I said that oh yeah yeah no, actually oof. The, la the last like, thing that you do when you're talking to a teacher is, in any conceivable way, undermine their authority. They get really angry when you do that. Ooh. They get really, really angry when you do that. Okay, I think that we're about ready to uh, stop feeding the line this way, so... If we have a decent supply of materials, I'm going to start building an actual dedicated smelting area. Okay. I mean, um... Because this is now too messy for me to like. Oh, come on. It's it's Factorio. It's almost... No it's, it's supposed to be nothing but mess. So what have you been up to lately, Lying? It's been ages since I last chatted with you. Uh, well, let me see. I've been getting into After Effects recently. Have you? Jeez. Yep. I'm kind of overdue on that, I know. That's that's a really uncommon thing. What the hell happened to my... Someone took my furnace. There's only one other person here who could have took in my furnace. Must have been the aliens. Oh yeah, sure. Aliens. Always the answer there. Oh yeah, I mean, have you never watched Ancient History? Must be the aliens. Oh, God, the... <laughs> That guy. <laughs> the man whose hair is just increasingly being levitated. <laughs> you have to wonder, like... You just have to wonder. I don't even know what you're wondering, but you, you gotta wonder. Well, you know, there's like... How many civilizations that uh, have remarkably similarly shaped uh, pyramid structures? Could just be that's a really great way to make a pyramid, but eh. Yeah, Could I don't be know. Aliens. I mean, having having a large base and a tiny, tiny top. Yeah. I mean, no, I I couldn't I couldn't imagine why uh, why why so many people would do that. It's not like it's structurally sound or anything. <laughs> okay, um, I think that I can make another uh, steam engine. Yes, I can. I'm also gonna make another furnace. So what, what compelled you to get into After Effects? Like, if, if anybody who's not aware, After Effects is basically the... It's a pretty well-recognized industry standard engine for, you know, creating motion graphic effects and whatnot. So, that's a thing. Uh, yeah, what, what, what compelled you to do that? Well, I've, like, I've started this tradition now on my channel where every June, like the latter half of June, pretty much, I have some kind of special... Like a TV special kind of thing. And I realized that the upcoming June special is going to require a fair bit of effects. And last time, uh, with The Return, I think was the name of that series, I basically had to mod everything in. Like, not, not just costumes for characters. I had to mod in their special abilities, because they were all from different universes and did different things. So I figured maybe oh. I can cut myself a little bit of slack this time around by doing it in post. Jeez, thinking that 
thinking that you can cut yourself some slack by doing stuff in post is some very wishful thinking. Oh yeah, but we'll see. <laughs> post is a lot of work. Yeah, but considering get, like getting actors into different places and making them all actually do their lines and stuff is already hurting cats. So if it's if, if it's if it's just me in post, then yay. Okay, I mean, I I, I kind of get what you mean there, like like the coordinated effort and everything. Yeah. That you have to go through. Yeah. Oh, yeah. All right, that makes a little bit more sense. Coordinating like a million and a half people to everyone show up, because I remember talking to bunch of people. I remember hearing some sort of a story about how someone fell asleep when you were recording something uh, and you had to get you had to do the wither sound next to them. <laughs> yeah, for like know, a half I hour. Know, like I know you had this to do the wither sound yes. for 5 minutes to wake them up cuz it was it was just so late and you had computer like no you had internet problems ages ago. <laughs> was it was I feel like that that was somehow attached to it. Well, the irony is our internet is better after we moved to a location that didn't have any kind of internet. But, um... Because that, that was a fun way to start 2016. Uh, but, yeah, that was during... Night of Fangs, I think it was. And one of our actors was really sleepy and good on them for, like, trying, but they fell asleep on, like, at the keyboard. So, being the Minecraft commands knowing jerk that I am, uh, I naturally <laughs> came up with an in-game solution to waking them up. Well, I mean, if it works, right? If it works. <laughs> oh, man. What is the next major thing that we have to get done? Well, we need to start building that rocket, I would say, is the next major thing we need to get done. What do we want to research first? Um, right, research. Research, of course! That thing. Uh, we have to build... Uh, a lab, um, if and what get, does it take to make the red pads? Yeah, if, if we get logistics, then we can get the splitters and the underground uh, conveyor belts, and with that, we can feed coal over to the boilers separately from the uh, from the smelting area. Or, we can go to automation, which will get us assembling machines, which will make it easier to convey things, and also we'll get the long hide inserter. They're the same, well, eh, hmm. The splitters are twice as expensive and slightly longer, I'm, though. I'm gonna do automation first because it's cheaper to research, okay? Alright. It's it's ten less to research automation. So we'll do automation first. Now the challenge is just to get a freaking research facility up. So, well, at least, well, I mean, more than one, but at least one for now. Um, and... Lab one, get. You got a lab now? Got a lab. Got a second okay, one coming so up as well. Do we? Uh, do you want to establish a uh, a production line right now, or do you just want to craft the the science packs and feed them in? Well, currently manually. we don't have actual assemblers, so we have to yeah, manufacture. Yeah. So. Okay. That being the case, I'll grab some of these. Well, I'll we run only back need ten. I've got the resources. Right. I've got the resources for fifty-five on me. Oh my God, that's uh, that's fairly large. Red red science is dirt cheap. The trouble is getting everything else after. All right. Well, I'm I'm crafting a few of them. Just a few, not many. Only a few. There we go. Okay. Now we get that wonderful buzzing sound in my ear. Uh, got got to love the sound of welding. It sounds more like a freaking Tesla coil going off. It could be both. Mm. Either way, I don't like the sound. Well, at least it's not trying to play Daft Punk. No offense to Daft Punk. No, no offense to Daft Punk. <laughs> but I feel like having, I feel like uh, robot rock through Tesla coils going constantly would be bad for us. Do you have any clue how many people have just decided, like, oh, that's it? I'm, I'm gonna <laughs> thumbs down this video. I'm leaving. I'm unsubscribing from this channel now. Eh, you can I hate you. It. Ugh. This is coming from the guy who, who who doesn't have a horse in this race. <laughs> <laughs> My god. Hey, if I don't have a horse, then I can't lose. Something. Oh? I have some spare arms here. You do. Oh. <laughs> right. Spare inserters. Well, that's what they are. They're arms. Well, d you're not wrong, but for a second I thought you'd like... You'd found some 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 other unfortunate uh, victim of the crash. Why do you insist on doubling these things up so close to each other? 
They have overlapping fields. They're gonna exhaust the strip between them before they, long before they exhaust. The <laughs> You're driving me nuts here, man. No, I'm driving your belts. Ah. Oh. I am disapproving <laughs> of your of your punnage here. 